Hi everyone, welcome to Genuinely Genevieve. On this channel, we're gonna talk about self-love, relationships, money, and everything in between on the journey to living our best lives. And since I'm a firm believer in the notion that the greatest mistakes you can learn from are other people's, we're gonna use the examples they set before us. It'll be up to you to decide if it gets your stamp of approval or it should be used as a cautionary tale of what not to do. Tis the season to break up. Now, I don't know what the statistics are on couples splitting up at the end of a year, but I can imagine it probably is significant. I mean, a year coming to an end makes people take stock of their lives and decide what parts of it they don't want to take into a new year. Hence, new year, new me, right? Well, Brian Abasolo decided that he wasn't going to ring in 2024 with his wife, Rachel Lindsay, by his side and file for divorce in Los Angeles. Court documents list New Year's Eve 2023 as the date of their official separation and the reason for the breakdown of the union as the ever popular irreconcilable differences. So who are these people, one might ask? who isn't familiar with reality TV, or more specifically, The Bachelor franchise. The couple met on night one of season 13 of The Bachelorette in 2017, featuring Rachel, an attorney from Dallas, Texas. When Brian, a chiropractor from Miami, Florida, walked out of the limo, he immediately got Rachel's attention with some sweet words in Spanish. He then ended up being her first kiss of the season after receiving the first impression rose. Rachel confessed to Brian during the episode, from the moment you walked out of the limo, I felt something that was unexplainable. I don't know if it was because you told me I was going to be in trouble. I don't know if it's because you spoke to me in Spanish, but there was something there. Their relationship only deepened as the season went on. And during the finale, Brian proposed in Spain with a three carat diamond ring. At the time, Rachel told people, Brian is like my best friend. Like I cannot imagine him not in my life. The couple first began their life together in Rachel's hometown of Dallas, but by early 2019, they'd moved to Miami. In an interview with Access Live, Brian explained, saying, Well, she's taken off in the sports entertainment industry, so she left her law firm back in December, and she's very flexible with her schedule now, and my network is in Miami, so I think we're going to take the move to Miami. In August of that year, the couple got married in Mexico and enjoyed a honeymoon in Greece. Just one week later, the couple was in the news already talking about starting a family. In 2020, they didn't let the world shutting down stop them from celebrating their first anniversary in Aruba. They both shared touching messages to one another on their Instagram pages with Brian's reading, I can't believe it's already been a year since we both said I do. I consider myself beyond lucky to be able to call you my wife and truly blessed to be your husband. I wake up every single day a better man because you are always there to support encourage and love me no matter what. You are my rock and my best friend. Thank you for the memories we have shared together this year, and I look forward to many, many more. Rachel's read, One year plus forever. I love you and I am beyond thankful for you. Also at this time, the couple were living apart. Rachel had moved to LA for her career, while Brian tended to his chiropractor business back in Miami. They discussed the details on an episode of Brian's Dr. Ab's HealthCast podcast. Rachel told Brian, You're focusing on your practice and building it to a place you want it to be, and I'm here in LA working for extra and doing other things, and we're doing this to eventually bring ourselves together. Brian expressed his support for his wife's professional aspirations, saying, For me, I want you to go do your thing in LA. I want you to be as successful as possible. You're killing it right now, and I love it. Before their next anniversary came around, though, Brian had finally moved to L.A. to be with his wife permanently. They continued the tradition of celebratory IG posts that August to commemorate their second year of marriage. Brian's reads, On repeat, until forever. Happy anniversary, my love. Can't wait to create more everlasting memories for years to come. While Rachel's reads, I am beyond grateful for your love, support, friendship, patience, and just for you. Thankful to live my best life with you every single day. Happy second anniversary. In 2022, the couple celebrated their third anniversary with a cozy date night. Brian shared a photo of the festivities on his IG with the caption, Cheers to love. Happy third anniversary at the Rachel Lindsay. I love you. Rachel posted a video featuring some of their most cherished moments as a couple. She wrote, Happy third anniversary to my best friend. Each year gets better. 
Love You Forever. For their fourth and what would be their last anniversary, they both posted the same photo with the same dry caption. This is for. Knowing what we do now, five months later, the posts being so lackluster in comparison to years prior were probably in alignment with how they were feeling about their relationship. An even more telling incident happened just days before the divorce filing. Rachel made an appearance on Nick Viles' The Vile Files podcast on December 21st, 2023. She specifically talked about why her and Brian don't post about each other much on their social media. We don't put ourselves out there at all, maybe an anniversary or a holiday. But I think that I did that because people were so critical of us when we came off the show. I just, I want to keep this for ourselves. And you know, marriage has ups and downs, but you never know when we're good or when we're not because we never put it out there. I kind of want to keep it that way. So when I want to share something, I do. She also cited the couple's, quote, totally different lives, end quote, as another reason why their social media profiles don't always align. Brian is a sole practitioner. He leaves the house at eight. He comes home at nine o'clock, 9.30 sometimes. It's just him by himself. Me, especially now that I'm not doing extra, I have a lot more free time. And then I'm back in hustle mode trying to get a second job. So I go to events. So we're just in two totally different places. After Nick noted that he and his fiance share a lot of details on social media, Rachel pointed out that their situation is different. Also, you guys work well together, work together. We don't, and we learn that. You gotta protect the marriage and we just don't work well together. Not every couple can do that. The same day that Brian filed, Rachel posted a video compilation on her Instagram with the caption, definitely one of the hardest years of my life, but choosing to focus on grateful moments and carrying that energy into 2024. No doubt alluding to the breakdown of her marriage, even though the public wouldn't be made aware until two days later when Brian posted about it on his IG. If you've been following me for a while, you know I don't like to put my personal affairs on social media and like to keep a safe space for our family. Many of you know me as a chiropractor and also as a husband, my proudest role so far. After more than four years of marriage, Rachel and I have made the difficult decision to part ways and start anew. My parents have been married forever and I'm a family man, but sometimes loving yourself and your partner means you must let go. I wanted you to hear it from the source before the blogs start making up their own reality. Please respect the spaces of our family and friends as we figure out our next steps. Respectfully, Brian. His post as well as Rachel's New Year's Eve one have the comments turned off. Actually, Rachel's turned off comments on her page for every post going back to the summer. Brian opted not to do that, so of course, people are leaving their comments about the split on many of his most recent posts. Probably the most common theme of those comments are people questioning why he's requesting spousal support from Rachel. Additionally, he's requesting to terminate the court's ability to reward spousal support to Rachel. Aside from that, Brian's also seeking ownership rights for his shared properties with his estranged wife, which include a residence in North Hollywood. Apparently, they did not have a prenuptial agreement. So let's chat in the comments about some of the takeaways from all this. Brian and Rachel split up after only four years of marriage. What do y'all think about short marriages? Have you experienced one? If so, why did you decide to pull the trigger sooner rather than later? What about reality TV relationships in general? So many of them seem to want couples to get together and commit so quickly, and I just don't think that way of going about things is the best idea. Also, the whole new year, new me thing. Have you ended a relationship at the end of a year because you realized that your future didn't include them? Or maybe you just didn't want to spend money on a Christmas gift. Come on, be honest. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.